Hey guys, it's Beano, and we're back, and we're gonna exit the gym. You know why? Because we beat it, yeah! Let's go to our Beano, open this, and voila, we got a badge. And, and if you rub your stylus all over it and stuff, you'll shine it up. Which is just a side feature, and if you shine it up a lot, or if you rub on it a lot, Then it turns into a shiny, or whatever. Anyway, uh, the overtime mold will get on your badge, but you can just rub it. I don't know, it's just something you can do. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna heal up, because rest, rest is good. Uh, we're gonna tr uh, train up Shinx, and we're gonna get another po Pokemon in our team. Hopefully. I don't know whether we will, but why am I saving? I'm switching to Shinx, because Turtwig will evolve next level, but in if we're gonna do this well, we may as well get Shinx pretty high level too. And Shinx is gonna evolve, I think, level 15. Uh, so, let's see. Anyway, uh, yeah, we can go north, but... Oh, you, whoa, thud. Whoops, man, now you got the badge, huh? It turned to say it's the next place where we're getting badges. So, yeah, I want to go to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my teeth out on the top of the numbers, or it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next up, I turn to Jim Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. 9, but who's got the time to count? See ya. Wow, that guy's really fast. So, anyway, yeah, we're basically just going to walk back. I haven't got the repel on, so that was really good luck there. Uh, there was... Four spaces of grass we have to go. Oh, that was six. Wow, we just walked all the way through that. So anyway, we're back in Jubilee City. It doesn't seem so far when you don't have any battles, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, now we're going north and... Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, you know, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show the cement. Oh, yeah, these are the battles I was wondering about. Ah... Uh... All you must do is provide us with your research findings, and in return, we'll refrain from causing massive damage to your assistant! Dino, let's bow together! Ah, uh, so anyway, yeah, I was, I was thinking we'd do these battles, but I just didn't know when. Uh, so anyway, these are the Galactic Grunts. This is a double battle, which we are being taught to. It was introduced last generation, so Generation 3. And, uh, basically, two uh, you get two Pokemon out at once, and you have to command both of them. Now this one's a bit of a tag battle though, so you're only controlling one of the Pokemon while the computers control the other one for you. Uh, so anyway, uh, these are two Galactic Grunts. Uh, one knows Zo one has a Zubat and one has a Wormpool. I don't think we've seen Wormpool before, so I'll talk about Wormpool. Uh, Wormpool evolves at level 10 into, some uh, into something good, but he evolves at level 7 in order to become a really kind of defensive but learning stuff. I don't, know. I don't know. If you guys have played Generation 1, Wormpool is basically uh, a Caterpie. He just, uh, you can find, he evolves really quickly, but he's kind of okay at the end, and he doesn't really learn many moves at first. And plus, the second evolution only learns Harden, which is, a, which is just a defensive attack, so a defensive move, so it's really kind of useless. Anyway, what I... Why am I tackling this one with Shinx? Oh, that's because Shinx is awesome! Uh, so anyway, yeah, um... Let's take out the Zubat, um... So yeah, this is... I, I thought this would... battle would come up before we actually... tackle on the gym, like... I knew I was in the city, but I just didn't know when it was. So anyway, yeah, I'm taking out the Zubat. Taking out, yeah. Uh, and now we just got the Wemple left. Thankfully, this double battle is it's really easy. Like, really, two level nines. That's kind of easy. And plus, you got a level 13 by your side. So... So, if you have trouble in this battle, and really, you have a problem. Especially if you just beat Rook. Anyway, we just beat Galactic Grunt and Galactic Run. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children? This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission was a failure. So anyway, we defeated... ...them.
You will leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. Oh, well, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use that power for something. Anyway, Bino, well done. Uh, you battled quite capably. The sight of you trainers and Pokemon battling together, I made the right decision in entrusting you with a Pokedex. Bino, did you know the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon 2? Oh, really? According to his research, 9% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions, such as Turtwig that I know about. Anyway, they go the wrong way, and this guy... Oh, that was good. I beg your pardon, I'm from Jubilock TV. I would like to give you the fashion case. This comes in handy a bit later. And by handy, I mean it's used a bit later. It doesn't come in handy as well. So anyway, you'll get accessories and backdrops, which you can dress up your Pokemon. Uh for pictures. I'm not kidding, they let you do this. So anyway, here we are. Route 204, we're just gonna go over here because there's a Pokeball up there if you saw it. Other than that, you can catch Pewdoo if you want to catch a Pewdoo. I don't really want to catch a Pewdoo though. Have you made my shakes weak? So anyway, let's tackle the Pewdoo. Pewdoo's attack rose! Tackle the Pewdoo! Sorry, special attack rose! Anyway, yeah. Um. Alright, Shinx is attacking the Pewdoo! Oh gosh, no! 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 Anyway, this. I think this is Pewdoo's ability, Poison Point. When he dies, he poisons you. Now, poison is the first status condition we're actually coming up against. Uh, status conditions don't go away from leveling. They go away from he Pokemon Center healing and uh, or items you can gather. Anyway, what poison does is that it... Oh, that is insult to injury. Thank you very much. Uh, poison, uh, you take damage every turn, and also when you're walking... Like every four steps, you take one damage. I'm not kidding, it's gonna be really annoying, so... Anyway, anyway, uh, thankfully, there's, uh, when... Your Pokémon will never die from poisoning, uh... It, well, outside of battle, in battle, yes, but... Thankfully, they put that mechanic in this generation, and basically, it's so that... It's, it's so that you can heal them up without having to use a revive, it's... It, it leaves them on one HP, yes, but... Like, at least they're not unfairly reducing their happiness from dying. Even though that, even though that fainting, you don't actually lose a bunch of uh, HP. Anyway, that was a paralyzed heal, which heals paralyze, which is electric type uh, stuff. Oh, weak looking. What? I'm not weak looking trainer. Anyway, you can actually fight these guys before you even go to Route 203 if you're going the wrong way. You know? But. With that being said, it's a bit off, and it's level 7. The challenge factor is high. Can we do this? Well, why would I use charge? They give you charge early, way earlier than you'd actually really need it. Like, they should give you at the same level as something else. I don't, I don't know. Because oh. you could give you Shinx, I guess, TMs. We've only gotten one, and Rock Smash. Self work as well, but I don't think Shinx will stuff up. Now, you can't teach any TM to any Pokemon. You have certain uh, Pokemon are specific to certain TMs. Usually it's the same type, but sometimes it's different. Like, for example, you can teach some some non flying Pokemon just because they can't be flying type, because you can only have two types will learn fly, but some other, some flying type Pokemon, they, they might be not be able to learn fly. My dad gave me Pokemon, they will win! Um, good to know. This is Tyler! Not Steven Tyler, but just that Tyler. Anyway, he has Magic Up. Um, we got the old world a uh, while back, just at the end of part four. Where I got Shanks. Uh, Magikarp is a common Pokemon you will find in too often. Use an old rod next to water, it will always result in Magikarp. The other bad thing about Magikarp is that 
he can't really, he has no attack stat pretty much, and he knows Splash. Splash is the most useless attack in the game, it does nothing, absolutely nothing. It's been exploited, it's mad, it doesn't do anything, and he only learns two moves later, and there's no way of training him unless you got an EXP share or you do the switch out technique. Uh, so yeah. But, if you train him up, he evolves at level 30, I think, into Gyarados. Now, Gyarados is one of the best Pokemon in the game, okay? Uh, I'll talk about him a bit later, you know, when we actually see one or get one, I don't know. So anyway, Shinxu's tackle! I think, I think we've established that before. But the Pokemon are going with the Well, your dad doesn't go to school! That was a weird insult. Um, so yeah, uh, now as common as Magikarp is, you may as well get one, just because, you know, Magikarp is pretty effective if you evolve. Uh, so anyway, this is the last trainer we're gonna fight on this route. It's a Beauto! If you're wondering, Beauto is a new Pokemon, but his evolution, Roselia, is actually a Generation 3 Pokemon. Uh, and then, Roselia's evolution, Roserade, that's a Generation 4 Pokemon. So, if you were playing Generation 3, you'd only see Roselia. Roselia doesn't evolve into anything. But if you're playing this game, he has a pre evolution and an evolution stuck on, which is kind of cool. Um, that's one thing I like, in these later games, they just, except Generation 5, they don't do anything in there, uh, but in these generations, they just expand on uh, how Pokemon work. Actually, they don't really do any in Generation 3 either, besides um, one of them, one of them. I forgot which one. Uh, why not? Why not? Yeah, that's the one. They added one, but other than that, uh, nothing really. So yeah, hopefully next generation they'll actually expand on the concept, but unfortunately the next generation may come in like 2015 or something. And apparently the world's gonna end like next year anyway. Oh wait, no, this guy's not trying. This boulder's blocking the way. Now here's what you have to do. You have to get Rock Smash in order to continue. Now, uh, we can't really do anything in here, so I may as well not talk about any new Pokemon, I think. I don't know, I can't, I can't remember if there's any new Pokemon, but there's nothing we can really get in here other than that item that's right there. So let's just continue on. We're back in Route 204, which means more trainers! Yeah, the route continues. If you're running, uh, trainers will actually look at you no matter what, one. so if you want to pass them, you have to walk. What's up a battle with smelling the aroma of flowers? Gosh, I really hated what they said in, uh, Sapphire. This is a Roma Lady Taylor. Roma Lady Taylor, so now Beauty. You don't have to be in a Roma Lady to have a Beauty, you know. So anyway, yeah. Oh, we know Bite. Oh, that's gonna be handy. You know why? Because Bite is a stronger attack. Much stronger. Cheruby! Cheruby is a new Pokemon! Uh, Cheruby learns a few good moves, but he's kind of okay. And he also, the only way you can get him is from Honey Trees, so... And Honey Trees is a concept that is going to be introduced next city, actually, so... Uh, and that's going to come up pretty soon, you know, we've got, uh, I think, two trainers in the way? So yeah, uh, we've got some money for winning. Uh, awakening, awakening cures sleep. Sleep is one of those abilities that actually wears off. What are you gonna say? Oh, this guy's a trainer. Uh, so yeah, sleep is an ability that wears off, but you can't attack at all in it. Um, except for certain attacks. Some attacks actually can be used while you're asleep. Uh, but otherwise, sleeping is annoying. Oh gosh, it's cricket dog. Ah! 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 That's no, okay, it's okay, it's cool, it's cool, we're cool. Anyway, let's bite him! Oh, yes! Yeah, bite's a good move, I'd recommend it. And he even flinches your opponent, which is just a, which is like a one-off 
Yukon attack. Dude, I think it was introduced Generation 3. Um, one move actually, actually, it only works if it if you attack first, uh, or in the first turn, but it forces you to attack before your opponent, and it even flinches them, which is pretty cool. I don't, I don't it's a bit of a weird move. Anyway, we got another Wormple. You know what that means? Om yum 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 yum. Should be using String Shot again. It, string Shot is like Tail Whip. It's one of those moves that you just remember from the first game. It's because of they put the Viridian Forest in the first game and it was really long and stuff. But in this game, like, they just put another city in the way, I guess. So anyway, Shinx is level 14. You know what that means? Nothing. And I know we're probably running a smidge bit over time, but I want to get to the town. And we just got one more battle. That's a cut tree, if you're wondering. You have to use cut on it. You see that little stubby tree next to the fence? Yeah. We can one shot this train of confidence. We're the strongest in our class! So anyway, yeah, this... Uh, you may remember in Sapphire and stuff, there were twins, and they sent out Pokemon. Anyway, they both sent out Pachirizu, both level 9, which is going to be really easy. Anyway, Pachirizu is kind of decent right now. Uh, we can't really find one for right now, but... Uh, he learns a few pretty cool moves, uh, but, you know, it doesn't really evolve, and he's, and, he, and you know, if he's okay now, he's not gonna be good later. Anyway, they learn, they know Quick Attack, and that's how annoying Quick Attack is. Now, here's one thing, um, Razor Leaf is a special move, uh, and not as in special something, but it's just fancy in the way that it hits both of your opponents at the same time, in a double battle. Now certain moves do that, certain moves even hit your partner, which is a bit annoying, like Earthquake and stuff. So I think Razor Leaf is a pretty cool move for double battles and stuff. Uh, let's let Shinx take out the last guy. Let's bite Pachirizu and let's just try to Turtwig withdraw. Turtwig's gonna let, uh, evolve, though. Maybe. Oh, that was a critical. If you're wondering, Withdraw is a water type, but that doesn't stop Turtwig from learning it. It's just, it's just a bit of a weird thing. Like, for example, uh, Shinx is a dark type, but he learns Bite. In fact, Turtwig's gonna learn Bite, I think, as well. So, Shinx gain experience! Turtwig, Turtwig gain experience! Oh, okay, they didn't evolve. Oh, 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 but wait! Stuff you kitties, I'm going to town! If wild Pokemon were in the way, jeez. Oh, yeah, the stinking way! Oh my goodness, you have to poison me right now, don't you? Great. Right. Alright, right, Shanks gained some experience. Anyway, I'm running a bit over, but in the next part, we'll walk past this fence. Okay, see you guys! Bye-bye!